jacked into Houston when I was 14 and won it. What's up, Flomies? I'm back, even though Chuck Norris tried to kill my cellular device and all of my dreams. I'm just kidding. I am back. I have a newly, well, it's a new phone, not even newly restored. I have a brand new phone. Yeah, we're being extra and got all the effects and the things going on right now. It's just because our Flex Pro meals just came in. So we get amazing, amazing um, dry ice on top of our meals. So even when they're sitting on our doorstep when we get home, they're perfect. So it makes our house look like a movie studio. We just had to have some fun. If you wanna get on the same journey I'm on, or even if you're just busy and wanna eat healthy on the go and do it on a really tight budget, go to flexpromeals.com, use code Fallon to get 20% off of your first order. It auto ships to me, I get it on my doorstep, it comes packaged like insane. I'm not quite sure how they're able to afford the shipping, the quality that they're able to send it, and the quality of the food, but they do, man. Vape tricks. <laughs> what up? <laughs> it looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. I'm almost ready to start this vlog. It's time for the master bun. You guys always ask me on Instagram how this gets done, <laughs> so. Here is the madness. This is how I do it. Uh, the secret trick is, look at how large my band is. <laughs> uh, it's a crazy day. Um, so, before I hit you guys with a hot fire deep thoughts, this is what my deep thoughts is about. Here is my current mood. Current mood. It's time for deep thoughts with Fallon Taylor. My deep thought for today is, as horse people, if you're a horse person, or maybe you're a kid person, or you're a mom, you're a teacher, you're a dog person, you're a cat person, we are so intuitive about what is happening in our significant other's life. And by significant other, I mean our animals. Um, we are so aware if they have a tummy ache, if they're not feeling well, you guys know what I'm saying. If you are a fur mama, you know all about when your fur baby is not quite feeling right. We have got to give the same attention to ourselves. I am exhausted, like exhausted in a way, like I can barely keep my eyes open. I am like kind of out of sorts. I'm a little foggy. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep in the middle of the day. That is not me. So if I were Baby Flo, you know, if I go and check out Baby Flo after this huge run at Houston, six plus runs, autograph sessions, all the things that we have to do, staying in a new place, I let Baby Flo have three days off because I'm like, okay, she's freaking tired. And for me, I'm like, ah, I got to vacation with all of my friends and my Flomies and stay in a hotel. And you know, it wasn't really that hard on me, was it? And now that I look back, I didn't have a weekend. There was no day in there where things weren't completely abnormal to my normal schedule. And I am just like, face melting. So I'm trying to take the day and just chill. Now, I chilled in the Apple store, shout out to TC at Apple North Park. I bought so many goodies because now it's time to go into what we're gonna talk about today. That's it for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. What I wanted to do was a couple of things. I went to the Apple store because if you didn't see the vlog yesterday, take a look. I left my phone on the fender of the trailer. Chuck Norris, threw it off the side of the fender of the trailer and pawed it. Now how, how, how did he throw it off there? Like this. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. I don't exaggerate here. What's wrong with you? So now the thing is about my phone. So here's the creepy thing. All you can do is just barely see my pop socket. And when I pulled my credit cards out, gravel came out. Like it's not cute. Then when I turned it over, this is what it, this is what it said. 
it brought up an old text message. I'll hide the text message. And it had that. Chuck Norris destroyed my freaking phone. So I had to go in. They were like, we've literally never seen this problem at Apple before. It kept texting, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to me, which was super creepy. But it took three hours and I have a new cellular device, which is great. But along with that, I wanted today's vlog to be super cool, so I updated my Apple Watch while I was there today, and I wanted to show you guys the apps that I use to ride and train with my Apple Watch and my phone, things that you can get. If you have a saddle sack from FallonTaylor.com, you can put your phone in your saddle sack or you can have your Apple Watch on and track your rides and different things. So I'll show you some of the technology that I use. But the main reason that I went, not just to get this bad boy turned on, was I have the vault right here. Nike, hit me with that brand new. These are all DVDs of hundreds of hours. This is basically my career from, I would say, 17 years old and younger. Every run I've ever made, basically, is in here. Plus, t days that I ran against Charmaine and Scamper, um, some of the greats like Bozo, some people that you might not even know of because it's been so long ago. So I'm going to be hitting you guys with some hot fire vintage footage a lot, and a lot coming up, but the technology that it took to get this from the little micro, uh, the eight millimeter, whatever, from like the old school, crazy old stuff. I just found the greatest video ever. Reacting to Houston when I was 14 and won it. Ah, okay, back to the point. The technology that it took to get these from the eight millimeter camcorder to DVD, and now from DVD to Today's day and age is like a thousand. I just told if you could get me out of there for less than a thousand dollars, that would be amazing. And we almost did not get me out of the store. So this is one of the most expensive vlogs I've ever made. Let's get into it. Let's check out Houston before I was a world champion. Okay, I'm gonna fire up this footage. So in 1997, Rodeo Houston was in the Astrodome and the Astrodome was this monster giant arena. Um, I can't remember what kind of times they're running, but we'll soon find out. So what's crazy is the horses would like run off and inside the arena is this white square box on the ground because they had this epic calf scramble during the rodeo. So some horses would like jump the, <laughs> the white line. <laughs> it was so crazy. Here goes Christy Peterson and Bozo. They were just so consistent and so amazing. She ran him in a little hackamore and he gave her everything. It was so cool. She just has such a cool riding style. She's passed on that amazing style to her daughter who's a phenomenal horse trainer. It's just really cool. Seventeen one eight is what she ran. Oh, here I come. And you know what's really cool about this day? My dad walked me in the alleyway on True Identity. True is the horse that Mac 10 is running that's right now 28 years old. No flipping way. She yells the same way now. Seventeen sixty one, and that is Baby Flo's mama, Flojo. Oh, here's Sherry Servey on Troubles. So I ended up beating Sherry Servey in the average by one one hundredth of a second. I have chills on my head. So exciting. Um, Troubles was just such a cool horse to watch Sherry on because I truly think she was the only person that could ride him. Seventeen twenty-two. That's so crazy. 
crazy cool. Ah, I missed one of the best ones. As I was downloading this footage, which, which took me like forever, I missed Charmaine and Scamper. Charmaine running in hot pink colored jeans, channeling her inner ranch dressing girl that she didn't know would exist until 20 years later. And Scamper making a flawless run. Here we go. Like, here's all I'm saying. It's smooth, it's flawless, it's perfect. When you hear people criticize, sometimes you hear people say, oh, well, Scamper was slow, he wouldn't win today. Um, he ran a 17.38 right here. Standard patterns are standard patterns are standard patterns. Scamper, toward the end of his career, could run a 17.0 and a 17.1 on a standard pattern like nobody's business. So, please, we have a hard time struggling to do that now today. So, go Charmaine, go Scamper, you rock forever and always. We love you. That was such a fun little freak. Oh my gosh. So, I love going back and watching old videos. If you guys love them, make sure to comment below. Now, for my girls in BRC and my guys in Barrel Racing College, I will be breaking down all of the greats in some amazing runs for you guys. So, um, what I'm gonna do now is show you the five best apps that I keep on my phone. So, I love this handy dandy little uh, screen record feature because I can make some things happen for you guys. And because I just got a new phone today, thank you Chuck Norris, I have to customize it to put it back on there. I am gonna go to the app store. I'm gonna show you guys my favorites. One app that I just downloaded um, because I have a really hard time getting water down and I just try to reflect every week on things that are my weaknesses and try to educate myself on how to be better at them. So stupid as it may sound, water is super important because I wanna stay as injury free as I can. Um, when you ride horses, you need to be hydrated all the time. If this were a horse, we would treat them so much better. Um, and if they didn't drink enough, we would freak out, we'd give them electrolytes, et cetera, et cetera. So I downloaded this amazing um, drink water app. And it's just this reminder that every 45 minutes um, shows you like how much water you need to drink, um, how much you've been drinking, if you reach your goal. Um, it's got all sorts of stuff. So I just downloaded this one and this one I really, really like. So if I'm just not as good or as disciplined as everyone else at drinking my water, I am going to use this app that I really, really like. So there's that. That's my number one for right now. Um, shameless plug for myself. If you go to the app store and you type in Fallon Taylor, several apps will come up. One of them is an old one. One of them is one that I'm obsessed with, obviously, Barrel Racing Tips. You can download this app um, and go in there. Now, you do need to pay for the app. It's got all of the same courses that I have in Barrel Racing College right here at your fingertips. So you can go in, you can sign up with your Facebook, sign up with your email and you can get all the videos right there on your phone. If you are a member of Barrel Racing College, Barrel Racing Tips is a separate membership. You gotta have that one because you can go to the arena, put in your earbuds, listen to me talk to you, have all of your drills right there on your phone. So that's super exciting. And the icon is super cute on your phone too. It's me and Polo. Another app that I really, really like having on my phone is Equitrack. Equitrack is expensive though. It is an $8 app. Um, but I really do like it because you can put in um, your different horses, what, how they did that week, how they progressed, your start time, your end time, the speed if you're brazing your horses out, your average speed, um, different things like that are a really, really fun thing to track on your phone. So Equitrack is a really great um, app and you can have a satellite view of what your ride was like. So it's super cool. So we've got drink water, barrel racing tips, Equitrack, is that three of them? I love the app Video Collage. Video Collage I like using for before and afters of runs just so that I know exactly um, what's happening in a run. I really, really like using that. So Video Collage is something I love, 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 love to have in my phone 
just so you can get a before and after like I made with my jumping video the other day that I put up on the gram. If you don't follow me on the gram, go do that right here. So there's two goal setting apps that I really like. One is called Goal Setting. Another one is called The Success Coach. I really like Success Coach. Um, it's a really cool app that I really like. It's got your morning routine, um, your evening routine, just to have you kind of round up, round down your day, send you notifications of things that you should be doing to stay on track with your goals. And that is what I love. So those are my recommendations for today. I'm gonna go take it easy. It is time for me to recharge. I am having a tough time just staying awake, even with all this exciting footage. So I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna do some meditations. We're gonna go walk the dog. I'm gonna go be a hippie and be one with the universe so that I can feel refreshed and recharged for you guys tomorrow. So don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow.